Good morning, family. Today is Wednesday, September 27th, 2017, and I have come on to prepare some pulled chicken poi boy sandwiches. Now, to make this particular dish, I have gotten on markdown some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We have some light brown sugar. We're going to use about a uh, packed half a cup of that. We're going to line the bottom of our Ninja oven with uh, some onion and some bell pepper. And we're going to cover the top with some Kroger Hickory Smoke Barbecue Sauce. Let's get started. For those of you guys that um, have your own compost uh, containers and drums outside, um, I want to give a quick mention. For those of you guys that do have gardens and um, you compost, um, it's really, really good um, to feed your plants your wastings from your fruits and vegetables. Now with these guys, I'm going to use this for some salad thereafter, but like this stuff here you want to put this in your compost pile now um, I want to give a quick mention as far as what goes in your compost pile what goes in your compost pile drum or box is your wastings from your fruits and vegetables your um, your dyed plants and flowers that you receive but absolutely no dairy or meat products now I do use um, my coffee grinds uh, from my Keurig I put those in there I also put eggshells in there but to put eggshells inside of your compost pile you want to bake them in your oven first to remove uh, the remnant from the uh, yolk or the egg white because the dairy will just simply contaminate your whole compost a pile and you don't want to do that. Make sure you wash your chicken very well first. I eyeball things, so I would say that's about a pressed half cup. Now I'm going to sit this bottle upside down with the cap on it um, to ensure that I get the rest of my product. Let me rinse this off first though. So if you put the lid on it like that and leave it upside down like that and then it's going to give you the rest of your product and that's what you want to do.
We're going to cook this for four hours. So equivalent to the high speed or the hot heat or the highest heat or whichever you want to call it. Your high, your low, whatever. We're going to put it on high for four hours and allow this to cook this way. We'll be back soon. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to use that in the compost because I don't like the way that part of it looks.
all of our wasted fruits and vegetables are going in our compost pile. And we're going to take two forks and we're going to break up our chicken, kind of somewhat like pulling it apart basically. But you're mincing up the chicken like this with two, um, with your pointers on the back end of your forks and you just pull it apart. I put my potatoes in later, so I, I mean, I put the, egg, excuse me, I put the eggs in later, so we're going to leave the eggs in the water and just take out our potatoes. It is always so much easier to season your potato salad when the potatoes are hot. Um, I don't know why it's just easier. It's easier that way. And just a little seasoning salt. We're going to put some honey mustard in it. And we're going to take some mayo.
I'm going to allow this to cool down before I put it in the refrigerator. Allow it to cool down first. My son is getting ready to go to work, so I'm simply getting his lunch ready for the day, for the night rather. What is a mom to do? He'll be 21 November 1st, but a mother's work is never, ever done. Go get you a red cream soda. From my home to yours. Bon appetit, family. You guys have an awesome night. Bye-bye.